Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your reading. All right, let's get into it with an Oracle card message for Sagittarius. What is going on with my Sagittarian spirit? What does Sagittarius need to know at this very moment in time for Sagittarius? Thank you, spirit. I just saw um, a red onion. I don't know what that means. All uh, right, we have element 16. Feel free to break down the numbers. Someone getting a new do, a new wig, new hair. It looks good. I'm getting something light, of light color, a platinum something. All right, All Hallows Eve 1. I feel like you're preparing for fall. Everything's just so pleasant, so quaint, so balanced, so nice. Your energy is totally different from all the signs. You're feeling yourself. We have Owl, 27. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing straight long hair with the part in the middle or the side. I'm getting mostly, you're going for a light color though. I'm seeing more so like these three colors here. Even though fall is coming up, I'm seeing you dye your hair like a light color or getting a, a wig or something. Overall energy is intuition, 23. Yeah, you just feel drawn. Trust your intuition if you are switching up your hairstyle very soon. It could be like that um that red onion. You could dye your hair that color as well. Like close to this color. Or like the spine of these cards. Let me show you real quick. It's very saturated, but you know what a red onion looks like. Like a burgundy. But I'm seeing you change up your look. And you look good if you're deciding to do so with your eyebrows or hair or makeup or whatever. Go with your intuition. Let your intuition guide you. Like if you grab a color, you see a color and you just know that's the color. You don't know why, but you know you have to have it. Get that. And I feel like it's like a dark lipstick. It's more of a, a purplish reddish or something like that. But anyway, with Wisdom and Owl... I'm getting like element as well. It's like your intuition is showing you how a situation can be balanced or it already is. I feel like a situation already is balanced. Hmm, what was your last reading about with Sagittarius? Yeah, someone's gonna live to regret something. Hmm, let's get into the tarot and get more on this. So I'm saying everything's going well for you. Drastic difference from your last reading. Sagittarius. A message for Sagittarius. A message for Sagittarius. I'm just getting like you're at peace, you're calm, you're you're just focusing on like making yourself up. All right, we have the Seven of Wands. Yeah, protecting yourself. That's still like the same, similar energy from the last reading. Judgment, you're feeling very confident. A dark lipstick will look good on you. Knight of Swords. Winning at all cost. And the Chariot, Cancer, fast paced moving forward to victory and success. Or you're going somewhere at, I'm getting a train station for some reason like fast travel over RNG, the ace of pentacles it could be for a job or some type of if you were booked to do something or perform somewhere i don't know if you're going to an open mic night or something like that but it, it involves money someone's paying you to perform and you're getting there at all costs or you're going to some type of club or something it could also be um like a cosplay thing as well or some type of convention or it's like some type of event you're being paid to be at or booked at. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles or someone's paying you to do their hair and makeup for an event, something like that. That could be your business that you fear judgment on because I feel like you have um, a very untraditional job or business and it's working well for you or it's about to take off you travel for work as well for these bookings 
I feel like you feel the need to really get there because this is a, a big client or a big payout. Clarify this for Sagittarius. Clarify this message for Sagittarius. Clarify this message for Sagittarius. So yeah, you're defending yourself and you're going to whatever this is. I feel like you got booked for a, a, a huge gig or a really high profile client. This is really going to put your business or you on the map. And I feel like that's what someone was trying to fight you from going for. Or in the last reading I did for you, someone was trying to stop you from doing this or getting more info on it. Clarifying the Seven of Wands and Three of Cups. Yeah, celebration. You stood up for yourself. Defended your business or just kept things to yourself. Didn't tell someone your business. Yeah, King of Swords energy here. You, you spoke sternly and assertively and confidently. You stood your ground and you're celebrating now. You're happy because of that. And you made an agreement with someone. Clarifying the judgment card is the hermit card. You trusted yourself, trusted your intuition, trusted your own judgment or the judgment or guidance of a Virgo. Yeah, five of pentacles. You decided to go it alone, do it yourself. But I feel like someone also tried to cast you out. You felt alone. But it's the best this way anyway. You trusted your own judgment. Clarifying the Knight of Swords is the Seven of Cups. So someone tried to confuse you on the plans. Page of uh, Pentacles here. Yeah. So I also feel like there's a lot of offers here. There's one offer in particular that seems perfect for you. Some type of idea. I feel like someone's trying to confuse you on that though. Yeah, someone trying to get you away from this. It could be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Virgo. Someone's trying to cloud your judgment on this. To make you scared of being alone. Trying to, someone's trying to tell you you don't have enough money. Or you don't have enough resources to do something. Or you're not going to make it or whatever. Yeah, someone's trying to confuse you and warp your perception of this idea. Someone's trying to make you not go to this event. Telling you you don't have enough or whatever. Someone's judging you financially. Saying you're not enough. You're not worthy. You don't have the skill or the resources to do something or go somewhere. Or someone's trying to make you believe that. I don't know if they're outright saying that to you. Or trying to manipulate you into thinking that. Clarifying the chariot is the four of wands. You end up going and it ends up working out. You end up going and it goes great. Yeah, seven of wands. I feel like you have to keep defending your business, but it goes well even, even when your business takes off and it has a strong foundation and a strong platform, you still have to defend it and protect it. Um, also, you may want to get things copywritten just in case. Gotta be prepared. Overall energy is the queen of pentacles. So there's definitely a Virgo here. Ace of pentacles. So there, there could be a Virgo funding this for you or helping you out in some way, shape or form. This could be the person who's booking this with you. But I feel like either someone's trying to drain your pocket so you can't go somewhere. Someone's trying to um, make you pay for something so that you can't go to this event. Like someone's trying to make it so that you don't make it to this event. Either they're trying to make you feel like you don't have enough or something else is more important or that you're not enough. Someone's trying to confuse you and manipulate you out of doing this. Because the Knight of Swords, it's like you're you're doing this no matter what. You're going to this event no matter what, right? You were booked for it. There's a big payout for it with the Ace of Pentacles. It allows for a new job or it'll make you like, it'll open your doors to a lot of people and it'll allow you to network. But someone's trying to stop that. Someone's trying to hinder you from doing so. Go anyway, stand your ground and go anyway. Someone's trying to um, also take your car, saying that you need to spend your money on your car, something's wrong with it or something like that. Regardless, you go to this event, it's, it works out totally fine for you and it creates a stronger foundation and platform for your business or whatever it is that you do. You get out there, you get to network and it puts you at the right place at the right time with the right people and it gives you that ace of pentacles. But I feel like someone's trying to outcast you or stop you from doing this. 
or drain you of your resources or make you feel like you don't have any. If someone wants to leave you or ghost you or make you feel like you're alone when you're not. Yeah, just defend yourself. Just be stern. Again, you have to continuously stand up for yourself. Defend your business. Don't let... I feel like the main thing here is someone's trying to get you to doubt yourself. But just keep standing up for yourself and standing firm. Pretty much the same energy as the last reading, but different. You're actually going somewhere and your business is taking off and you just have to keep defending it. Putting all the precautions in place legally as well. Also, if you're deciding to um, reunite or regroup with an air sign, defend that, do so. Because you're creating harmony. I feel like also you're reuniting with an air sign, this king of swords, creating harmony in a situation. Someone's trying to fight against that and make you, again, stay alone or be alone or feel abandoned. Someone wants you to feel like you're down and out and alone and not enough. They want you to be a hermit. They want you to keep to yourself. Someone does not want you to get out and be social and create bonds or get back together with a friend or a lover or a family member, or whoever. Someone wants you to be a hermit and that's just not your destiny. That's just not for you. If you decide to be a hermit or recluse and stay home and you don't go to this event, it'll like do the total opposite of what you want. You'll end up as the five of pentacles. Whereas you could be the four of wands and the chariot. Yeah, it's like someone wants you to stay home. Literally just, they want you to stay in the house and be at home. They're manipulating you into being fearful of the outside. Okay, so I would not reunite with this air sign because it could be the air sign doing this. Someone's trying to create fear like because it's like with the Knight of Swords in this King of Swords, it's like they're trying to force you, trying to force their way back into your life and make you abandon all your ideas and stay at home with them. Okay, so if someone's coming back into your life and they're trying to um, disrupt it and create chaos, just defend yourself against this person and vice versa. If someone's trying to stop you from creating harmony in your life in any way, shape or form, either they're trying to come back and do it or trying to stop someone from coming into your life and they're causing disharmony in any way, cut that person out. Anyone who's trying to like destroy your business or whatever it is, your network or whatever it is you're trying to do, cut that person out. Because if someone manipulating you into staying alone and not getting out and promoting yourself, or someone's trying to stop you from moving out as well. They're hindering you from creating a strong foundation either with your business or moving out or both. But I do see regardless, the Ace of Pentacles, a new stable beginning in abundance and finances for you, your business taking off, you either getting a car or moving out or a home and stability. But it's like someone trying to manipulate you into thinking you can't or to manipulate you out of this idea while at the same time someone's trying to help you and give you an idea. And I'm seeing an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and a Virgo, a hermit. But there could be other signs. Put it where it goes for you. I'm also seeing Cancer here with the chariot. All right, I'm going to get you your final message. I'm, again, confused because I can't tell who's who, like who's helping you, who's hindering you. Someone could be trying to stop you because I'm seeing like the, with the cancer, I see the cancer helping you. I'm seeing the cancer help you. I see like the Virgo hindering you with the judgment and the hermit and the five of well, five of pentacles. If it's not a Virgo involved at all, it's just like someone's trying to judge you as being a recluse or keeping to yourself, or someone's trying to manipulate you into doing so. I, feel, I just feel like someone's trying to sabotage your idea, but it ends up working out anyway, or sabotage this connection, but it works out anyway. Final message for Sagittarius. 
final message for Sagittarius. Final message for Sagittarius. Yeah, because I'm getting like, someone's trying to come back into your life and create disharmony or trying to stop someone from coming into your life. We have milk, nourishment, parents, nostalgia. So yeah, someone from your past trying to come back. Praying mantis, wit, manipulation, fun, seven of cups. Someone trying to manipulate you. We have volcano, patience, repression, lust. Yeah, just keep standing up for yourself, defending yourself. Keep pushing forward with your ideas. Over on your snail, taking your time, the sacred fragility. So I'm going to leave it like with this. I would not trust this air sign, someone who's trying to come back into your life. Because I feel like that's the person you need to defend yourself against is this air sign. It's like this person is trying to make you, it's like they keep telling you, oh, Sagittarius, you're such a loner, you're such a hermit, you're so this, you're so that. They're trying to manipulate you into thinking that you're like a Virgo when you're really not. They're trying to, they keep saying these things, projecting this label onto you till you believe it's true and you start acting like it. That's what I'm getting. They're trying to project a persona onto you or someone keeps comparing you to this person. Someone trying to project a persona onto you to make you believe it and act on it. Like trying to force this, force you to be a homebody or in the house or kept to yourself when you're not. You're trying to get out and be social and move, move up. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing, her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.